15 Wild Conspiracy Theories About the Royal Family The world has been obsessed with the British royal family for quite some time now, as the monarchy has ceased to be the absolute authority over the country and former British Empire and now stands as basically a glorified tourist attraction, having delegated all responsibility for the running of the kingdom to politicians. However, the world's interest in the royal family's ultra-secretive private lives has remained, and perhaps only grown, as the reality of their living arrangements and lifestyles remain, mostly unknown, even in this age of the internet. People go ahead and speculate over the most insane of ideas about the royals, and some of them are so completely bonkers. We felt compelled to list them for your entertainment here as 15 Wild Conspiracy Theories About the Royal Family Number 1. The Queen is an Alien Reptile Who isn't these days? More and more people suggest that more and more celebs and high-profile people actually are. David Ike, known as a conspiracy theorist, though many of his conspiracies are on point, claims that certain members of the elite class such as Queen Elizabeth II are Anunnaki a band of reptile humanoids. The lizard people are perceived to be controlling the world, which in 2021 is probably more believable than it used to be, but is still hopefully not true. Number 2. The Queen is a Cannibal A philosopher once tried to figure out what gave Queen Elizabeth II such unrelenting and youthful energy. The explanation he came up with is that she must have human flesh running through her body. But if that's the case, and she's also a reptile, then that wouldn't make her a cannibal at all, just a regular old alien predator. Number 3. Meghan Markle is a robot Some have actually asked this question. Yes, it began when someone incredibly lifelike Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wax figures appeared on the finale of Britain's Got Talent, and once the footage made the rounds, people became concerned that something happened to the real Meghan Markle. The wax figures were deep in the uncanny valley, with many commenting on how robotic Mark looked, even though they hadn't realized it wasn't supposed to be her. Number 4. Queen Elizabeth I was a man Henry VIII infamously had six wives, invented the Church of England to make divorce legal, and beheaded his second wife, all on a quest to have a son to inherit his throne. In the process, he had two daughters, Mary and Elizabeth and finally a son, Edward, who was crowned when Henry died. Through a series of tragic events, though, it was Elizabeth who would be the most successful monarch of his three kids, reigning powerfully for about 50 years. In fact, she was so dominant and women's roles were so submissive in the 1500s that many thought she must really be a man, a theory that pervades to this day. Number 5. If she was a woman, she wasn't a virgin. Liz I has often been known as the Virgin Queen, though rumors about a sexual relationship between her and her childhood friend Dudley ran rampant over England during Elizabeth's reign. Apparently, she appointed Dudley as master of the horse, which would have meant that they would have to be in personal contact every single day. Number 6. She wrote all of Shakespeare's plays. Here's a fun one. Unlike most women at the time, Queen Elizabeth received a formal, extensive education and plenty of people have claimed that her insider understanding of royal life meant that she could have been the actual writer of the plays that have been historically credited to Shakespeare. There's not much evidence for this, and it sounds a bit like an episode of Doctor Who, but it would be pretty cool if it were true. Number 7. A surrogate gave birth to Princess Charlotte some theorists and gossip magazines claimed that Kate Middleton must have used a surrogate to give birth, because she looked unaccountably healthy, exuberant, and beautiful, leaving the hospital with Prince William to have possibly just been through a lengthy labor, especially a second baby. But then again, what about Prince Louis? Did she also use a surrogate for him? Number 8. Prince Harry married Meghan Markle to take over America Another crackpot theory here when American writer and political critic Greg Polovitz tweeted his theory that since Prince Harry's kids will be Americans, what if one grows up to be president and is in line for the throne at the same time? Brits are playing long ball here, 
But it's a smart move. They want America back and this is how they'll do it. Of course, this is insane, as Britain doesn't care about reigning the states. Number 9. Prince Charles is a Vampire Here's an interesting theory that's grounded in science, but is basically nuts. Some genealogy record states that Prince Charles is a descendant of the 15th century Romanian prince Vlad the Impaler. Vlad was infamous for impaling people on tall poles without hurting a single organ in their bodies, thus leaving them to pass slowly, most likely of dehydration or starvation, as Vlad the Impaler is also the man who inspired Bram Stoker to write his 1897 novel, Dracula. Some have taken this as a sign that he is himself a vampire. You don't have to be a genius to see the flawed logic there. Number 10. King Edward VII's son was Jack the Ripper. Some scholars have claimed that Prince Albert Victor, a grandson of Queen Victoria and son of King Edward VII, was Jack the Ripper, the infamous and yet anonymous serial killer who murdered impoverished female prostitutes in London in 1888. Writers and researchers continue to investigate his identity but many suspect that Prince Albert Victor committed the murders in bouts of illness-induced violence. Number 11. Charles and Diana have a daughter through IVF Princess Diana's death and the circumstances surrounding it aren't the only thing about the woman's life that are mired in controversy. However, one of the more crazy theories is that the Queen ordered her to undergo fertility tests to verify that she could have children, and that during the tests, her eggs were fertilized and the doctor stole the embryo to raise his own royal, implanting it into his wife. Apparently, this child is called Sarah and lives in a small town in England totally incognito. Number 12. Prince Harry is not Prince Charles' son. More from the saga, and some have always speculated that Prince Harry is actually the son of James Hewitt as Diana and James have both admitted to having a five-year affair during Diana and Charles's marriage. It would explain how Harry came to be a redhead son of two non-gingers. They do actually look a lot alike, though, as you can see by looking at them side by side. However, it's just as likely that Harry just carries the Spencer genes, as Diana's brothers look a lot like Harry, too. Hopefully, it's not a Game of Thrones scenario. Number 13. Diana was pregnant when she died. Herod's owner Muhammad Al-Fayed, the father of Diana's late boyfriend Dodi, claims that Diana was pregnant with Dodi's child. As an Egyptian Muslim, Muhammad claims that the royals found the potential half-brother of their heirs being of such descent problematic and arranged Diana's death to cover up the pregnancy. There is another rather extensive theory that is connected to this one, and that is... Number 14. The Royals Had Diana Killed Al-Fayed had been so outspoken in his theories about the death that a multi-million pound investigation into the car crash that killed Diana and his son Dodi was conducted. In expansion to the theory that Diana was pregnant, Al-Fayed has claimed that they were to be married and the royal family would do anything to prevent being connected to an Egyptian Islamic branch of the family. Number 15. Diana feared Prince Charles was going to kill her in a car accident. A letter from Diana to former butler Paul Burrell apparently implies that Diana was suspicious that her husband was planning to kill her. Key phrases she used were, accident in my car, brake failure, and serious head injury. She claimed he planned to do it so that he could marry someone else presumably current wife Camilla Parker Bowles, and she wrote the letter 10 months before she died in the Paris car crash. Well, that got dark. But there you go. 15 wild conspiracy theories about the royal family.